really fun to direct. Just because there's so many like laughs and jokes and just so many just great bits. Well, for me personally, I haven't done something like this in about 10 years. Like I used to be really into uh, drama and, and acting and all that sort of stuff. And for some reason, um, I just sort of stopped. But getting back into the guru of things, you know, meeting new people, and uh, never, I'll be honest, I've never heard of a play before, but it's really interesting, it's really fun. So far, I really enjoyed um, coming to rehearsal and interacting with everyone and making new friends. It's a nice little community. Yeah. In drama. And it's, Tom Stoppard is just a fantastic playwright, and so it's really good to be able to listen in on these great lines, and then when I get to say them, say them with gusto. You do indeed. Oh, thank you. So do you. Thank you so much. There's no point in me trying to answer this, because right. anything that I'd say would give it away. It's a murder mystery. It has two critics and five people in the cast. It's a very, very meta play, which is very cleverly written. Tom Stoppard is one of my like favourite playwrights of all time, and uh, yeah, he's it's just genius. It's genius. It's, it's really funny, and it's just it keeps developing and developing, and then all of a sudden it just kind of changes, and it becomes incredibly um, meta. It's so layered. It's so meta. There are many different sort of. Uh, it's like an onion. Okay, you know how an onion has layers. His whole thing is that he's a critic, um, but he's a he's a stand-in, so he, he's not like one of the main critics. Um, and all he wants is to really be respected and, and loved. And I relate with that because all I want is to be respected and loved as well. She's very dramatic and over the top, and she finds herself intertwined in many relationships throughout the show. He's really just a womanizer. I sort of have to tap into something that isn't really part of me since you know, I'm not like that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. He's a bit of a ladies' man, comes in and sort of riles up all of the characters. Everyone's a little bit suspicious of him. Yeah, there's like loads of drama throughout the house and the people in it, and I, I'm just kind of there. Felicity is just so over dramatic, so much fun. Yeah, I'd say so. So she's proper flirty, can't think of anything else. That's it, flirty and dramatic, pretty much sums her up. Likes tennis. Likes tennis. There's not really much I can say about Magnus without giving pretty much the entire thing away. So he's just a, he's, he's, he's Canadian. I like to think that he has quite a deep backstory and radio programming wasn't his first choice, but he's fallen into it. Perhaps a troubled newsreader um, who was involved in a scandal, not of his doing. And that's what's going through my head when I deliver the lines, otherwise it's quite hard to keep saying through rehearsals. Um, <laughs> that's amazing. I love that backstory. To find out what happens and what this unexpected twist is, come buy tickets. Wait, oh, I guess you just have to come and see it. Mm. Come on, you. You. Come see it, yeah.